All right, let's do medic now. So, start with the vaccinator. Okay, yeah, I, 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 I can very much easily start with the vaccinator. I fucking hate this item. This item sucks. It is the most polarizing medic item in the. It's, it's one of the most polarizing items in the game. I absolutely hate it. So, first, if you're a new player. The vaccinator sucks. If you don't know how to cycle heals across multiple people, if you don't know how to not pocket somebody, and if you don't know how to rotate resistances where it matters, this thing fucking sucks, right? There are no training wheels on this thing. The entry level effective use on this is very, very, very fucking high. But when you get good with it, this thing sucks absolute ass to play against. I fucking hate dealing with vaccinator medics it absolutely fucking blows because the amount of damage you can block with this thing versus the amount of time you have to heal someone and then how how long the bubbles last two and a half seconds is fucking nuts hey just me in post here the point i was trying to emphasize with this very exasperated comment is that the amount of time it takes to heal someone versus how much damage you block is incredibly small in comparison to any other medigun's charge time for their beneficial effects right Stock Uber charge is about 40 seconds at minimum. Crits Creek is 32. And then the quick fix is like somewhere between 32, like 36 or 37 seconds, right? But with the fucking vaccinator, you can build up a bubble insanely quickly. The absolute minimum charge time for all four bars on the fucking vaccinator is about 24 seconds. So it takes six seconds of healing someone who's underhealed, not overhealed, to build up one bubble to block 75% of one damage type. That is fucked that is so broken that oh it's 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 too fast that's the point i was trying to emphasize no but vaccinator saves us from bots though it, it, while it may do that it sucks cock to play against because a good medic can cycle eff effective invincibility on multiple players extremely quickly because he knows because when you cycle heals with this thing if you're not actively pocketing someone you're building uber charge way fucking faster than any other other medigun right you almost always have a bubble ready at your disposal right and then if you have all four bubbles you have a full 10 seconds of invulnerability effectively against multiple damage types versus an uber charge is eight seconds oh i hate it hate it mm, fucking hate this thing the only real class that can counter Vac Medic is Spy or Pyro. So here's something interesting. So if you have a Pyro inside of a Vac Medic's face, his flames actually do reduce the amount of resistance that the bubbles have. Because that's how the flamethrowers are designed now. They reduce resistance effects and they reduce healing by a certain percentage. So if you get a Pyro inside of a fucking Vac Medic's face, right, that bullet resistance and that blast resistance aren't aren't gonna do that much but if he's got a fucking flame bubbles on i, I ain't gonna do shit because you you already don't do that much damage with your flamethrower but he still has like a 40 to 50 percent damage resistance with the flame bubble if you're actively burning him oh he just doesn't fucking die and the only way you can kill him is with focus fire but if he has blast and bullet enabled you're not going to be able to kill him faster and if you don't have a pyro on your team he's never going to fucking die oh hate it why would you ever use fire resistance on this item when blast and bullet are the two most prevalent sources of damage in this video game if you're always running bullet and blast damage on this thing you can never fucking die i fucking hate that but what's really satisfying about fighting a vac medic is using the third degree on them Ooh, whenever I come across a vac medic in a fucking pub, in a valve server, and I got that fucking third degree, dude, I'm gonna fucking, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that motherfucker, I'm gonna fuck him up, I'm just gonna get the fucking third degree, I'm gonna fucking get it right up in there, boy, I'm just gonna fuck him up, mm, I love doing that shit, oh, it's so good, or demo night. Uh, but then you're having to charge headlong into a fucking combo. That's the thing too. It's like, oh, just play Demo Knight. Oh, just play Spy. Oh, just go, you know, third degree Pyro and wail on them. Ah, yes. Let me waltz into a fucking medic combo with a melee that is actively taking less damage from two sources and then fucking die. Oh, yes. Good logic with that one. Just fucking hit them with the melee. Yeah, uh, the vaccinator's not a problem. Just hit them with the fucking melee. Then you'll have a, you'll be fine now. Fuck you. Fuck the vaccinator. Nerf it. It's, it's weird because the concept is cool. Being able to have a resistance to a certain damage type lets you selectively pick. Okay, yeah, I can maybe pick this fight and win longer. But the fact that you can do it so quickly and reduce so much damage. 
Oh, I fucking hate it. I, 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 I don't know what they could do to make this thing less ass to play against and then easier to use for newer players. Because newer players avoid this thing entirely because of how clunky it is, but once you get used to it, fuck, it's really good. 75% resistance, dude! Oh, it's so much! Oh, fuck me! So, oh, I fucking hate it! I hate it! I hate it so much, man! Oh, God. Oh, it's so bad. I would say that next to the Diamondback, that the Vaccinator is easily one of the most hated weapons in this game. And if you don't hate the Vaccinator, you haven't been playing long enough. See, I like the passive 10% resistance though. That's pretty interesting. The passive 10% resistance to the damage you pick is pretty neat because it gives the medic an edge over just getting quick scoped by a sniper, which in my opinion should never happen. But you have that as an option. Oh yeah, also, VAC can completely... No, the VAC doesn't even shut down crits, it shuts down mini crits, so it shuts down battalions backup, it turns off random crits, it turns off random crits and mini crits too! Oh, it's like a pocket... It's better! It's better than the fucking battalions backup, and takes so... It, oh, think about it this way, right? Think about it this way. The battalions backup blocks 35% of incoming damage, 50% of sentry gun damage, turns off mini crits and turns off crits, but it takes 600 damage to charge, only lasts 10 seconds, or roughly that much, and it affects everyone around you, right? But it takes a super fucking long time to do that. With the vaccinator, you can get a bubble that blocks 75% of an incoming damage type, potentially two, if you have more than one bubble, that lasts two and a half seconds, and you recharge those bubbles so fucking fast if you're cycling heals around. Man, you block so much incoming damage for how little you have to heal somebody. That's what makes this broken, and the fact you can do it to multiple people. They've reworked this thing in the past, but it's still not in a good spot, and I don't know what they can do to it to make it in a good spot. The Vaccinator is very unpredictable. Every other medigun is very predictable. You know, hey, this guy just used his Uber Charge or his Quick Fix and his Crits Krieg. You have at least a set amount of time before he's going to be able to do that again, right? Because with Stock Uber, the fastest you can build it again is 40 seconds when you're healing somebody. Crits Krieg is slightly faster by 15%, I think, and then Quick Fix is also faster. But you have an, a, a hard set minimum amount of time before you're going to be able to see that uber again, right? Unless you have the uber saw. But with something like the vaccinator, it's incredibly hard to not only keep track of how many bubbles they've popped on one or more people, but how many they currently have, it's hideously unpredictable. So you don't know if you can engage somebody and then you do, oh, suddenly I can't do any damage and then I fucking die and that's it. Vaccinator should not be as spammy and then it's okay. Anyways, nerf the vaccinator. Do something about it. I fucking hate it. Let's do this 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 poor this poor thing, man. Oh, it's like Vitasaw. What 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 do we do? It works. It's okay, it's not that bad. It, it, but you have to land swings to get your organs and then up to a chance of preserving what? 20% Uber on death? Sorry, you say 50 Okay, so you say a percentage Oh, it's a percentage of your Uber charge level up to 60%. So if you have 100% Uber, and you've managed to land four swings, then you retain 60% of your Uber. But if you have 30% Uber, you land one swing, that's like 7.5%. That's not much. And then like, what's, what's, what the fuck is 15% of 30? Four and a half. That's four and a half percent. Oh god, it's horrible. <laughs> it's not good. I don't feel like it's that heavily worth it. It's like the old version of the of the Vitasaw still sucked inside of normal casual game, normal normal pub games, because the Uber Saw is so good. You could get an instant 25% Uber on swing instead of, you know, always preserving 10% of your Uber on death, right? By just automatically equipping this thing. In competitive mode, it was banned for that reason because you could just preserve uber after death and it would fuck up uber counting and of course competitive players don't like that but that makes sense because uber charge needs to be kind of predictable and if one guy is using this thing then the other guy automatically has to use it and then because otherwise the team's at an, is at an advantage so that makes sense but the current version is still just really really underwhelming i don't know because when the fact that the uber saw exists 
makes me never want to use this thing because you have you still have to die in order to see its benefits. And that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Why would I use an item when its upside is only realized after I die? It rewards it it, it rewards you for dying, but it doesn't reward you enough? I don't know. It's so weird. It's a very bizarre way to design a weapon like this. Yeah, it's weird because it makes you weaker too. So it makes you more prone to dying, but it encourages you to attack people with your melee to then preserve a scaling percentage of your uber. Ah, oh, I don't like that. No, it's again, it, it rewards you for dying in a bizarrely lackluster way. No, I would much rather go for the risk versus reward of the uber saw and instantly get a quarter of uber charge. This teaches medics bad habits. It teaches them that they have to die in order to preserve uber, or like it teaches them to attack in order to preserve uber for the next life. When they should be trying to build uber for the current life and not worrying about the next one. I think that's the, the nail in the coffin right there. You should be worrying about uber charge right now instead of uber charge after you die. That's it. That's why the Vitasaw sucks. E. It's not broken because it's functional, but it sucks dick. Uh, Solemn Vow? I don't know, man. It's not bad. It's just not good. It's it's middle of the road. And being able to see your target's health as medic is a good thing if you're actively coordinating with someone you're playing with, right? So you could tell them, hey, focus on this guy, and you get a better, you can get an easier kill. Or like if you're caught out by yourself, yeah, people, you guys are bringing up battle medic. If you're caught up, if you're caught out by yourself and you see someone, you go, oh, hey, he only has 30 health. I can pop him with a crossbow shot or bum rush him with syringes and probably kill him and get out alive. Or and and there's that too. Right. But yeah, you're right. No one no one communicates in casuals. So being able to share this upside with your team is rarely realized unless you're playing in like a competitive game. What's the value in being able to see other people's health in an active competitive game when people are usually trying to keep track of how much damage they've just dealt to somebody? I don't know. I feel like you're always better off trying to run this thing. But then again, this also encourages medics to go for swings in a competitive game and then die when this thing is always useful without having to go out of your way to like take a risk. So it makes more sense that this is more useful and competitive than this thing and why it would be the meta. So yeah, but outside of com outside of like a competitive game, this thing is just not it's lackluster. I mean, it's useful if you're communicating or useful if you can pick out that one guy that's a straggler and you can go, okay, yeah, I could probably kill this guy. But beyond that, it's just same base damage, slower attack speed, funny marble man's head. Just that's it. Stock, Ubersaw, I mean, I guess I would say it's only slightly worse than the fucking Solemn Vow because, I mean, it's just your normal stock melee item, but it's on medic, I guess it's okay, but you're always better off using the amputator or the uber saw. But you know, base damage, normal attack speed, it's not like it's terrible. It's not as good as I guess being able to see your enemy's health and knowing that it's okay to like engage somebody. I don't think I wanna put it in D tier because D tier is reserved for things that are like bad, right? Like this is middle of the road good, this is bad and this is really bad, right? This is like the worst of the worst and this is like hor horrifically terrible, right? I still consider the stock bone saw pretty okay, right? You can still get away with using this thing, right? I mean, random crits are a thing if you care about that, but I mean, 65, no swing speed penalty. It's not the worst. But it's not, it's not like it's bad either. It's just, it's just your normal stock melee item, right? And your normal stock melee is just always kind of middle of the road on most classes, but bad in comparison to other options, but it's still functionally okay. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I want to put it in D tier. I, I'm going to keep it at the bottom of C tier for now. Looking back on this in post, I'm still satisfied with this position of lower C tier because even though it's just, just normal stock melee damage, it has your normal base swing speed. So if you need to get out some quick damage at melee range, you're not going to fuck yourself over if you miss your first swing and go, whoop, I got to wait a little bit longer if I'm using something like the Uber Saw, or I have less damage because I'm using the Amputator, or I'm swinging slower because I have the Solemn Vow. So if you're suddenly caught out in some kind of a melee fight, you do have a slightly faster attack, so you get more chances to bring down whoever's engaging you that way. So for that reason, it's still 
good and certainly better than something like the vita saw and not bad by any means because again you have that that quicker output of damage if you're caught out in a melee fight so it's staying in c tier i like that position overdose a tier yes i love the overdose dude i still have not convinced enough people that the overdose is insanely fucking good i love using this thing the old version sucked cock because of the the maximum only to, the the 10 percent was your maximum speed that you can get with it. But now that it's 20%, oh man, I love using this thing. You're fucking zipping around at like 50 Uber. You're like, you're, you're fucking, you're moving fast, dude. That's so good. Oh, I love the overdose. It's so fucking fun to just bum rush people with this thing. And it's also good to fucking get out. Like you're, you're, you're losing a fight and you just fucking get out. Anything that can increase the distance between you and your target faster as a medic is it, awesome. It's so fucking good. And, People tend to underestimate the fucking syringes coming out. It's like, oh, fucking syringes can't kill me. And then you've suddenly dealt 70 damage to them and they die. Don't forget that speed boost applies to your back pedal. So it speeds you up while you're back pedaling as well, which is really fucking good. At like 30 or 40% Uber, you're back pedaling at the same speed you're moving forward when you're not having it out. It's really strong. Listen. I understand that the crossbow exists and that it's objectively like good, but this, this, oh baby, I love the overdose. Uh, I didn't, I realized I didn't talk about the Ubersaw, even though I put it up here. So let me talk about that real quick. The Ubersaw is, it, it's just the most powerful medic melee because why would you ever not use an item that gives you a quarter of your uber in one swing right and you could immediately fucking just get your uber it, it, it's like why why would you not use this it's so fucking good and the fact random chris exists with this thing in like a normal valve server you just one shot a guy and get 25 percent uber oh it's so fucking good i don't know man it's in, compar in comparison to the other melee items, it's nothing else comes close to how effective this thing can be. Suddenly being able to get 25% Uber can completely change the course of the game. And if you land two swings, if you land three swings, if you land four, congratulations, you have Uber. And if you have any amount of Uber charge over 25%, you're, you're fucking just juicing this shit out, man. It's, it's really fucking good. It's, Uber saw is just, it's, I mean, honestly, it's the best option for a medic melee just like like your normal like it's the meta yeah but it's it's just good and i won't deny that it's really fucking good the slower swing speed on this thing isn't that detrimental because it lets you take more time between consecutive swings so you can land your hits right because if you're in like a janky melee fight if you juice out your next swing too fast you're gonna fuck yourself over but the slower swing speed i find lets you take a little bit more time between your hits and it guarantees you get hits more off. It's like, oh, got to pause, got to pause, hit, got to pause, got to pause, hit. The downside of this thing, to me, I don't think it's enough. I think the Ubersaw could have a much stronger downside, like a damage penalty or something. Because being able to get 25% Uber with no damage penalty and only a slightly slower swing speed is painfully good. They could nerf the damage on this thing. Like, give it the same damage nerf as the Amputator, and then I think it would be like a... a and, and people would still use it because it's so fucking good to get 25% Uber on hit. Or maybe reduce it to 20% Uber on swing instead of 25. So it takes five hits instead of four. Yeah, I like that idea. 20% Uber on hit instead of 25. I like that. We'll leave it at that for the Uber saw. That would make it in a better place. And it would still be an A tier and it would still be an insanely good item. But it would back it down from being like a just only ever use this, right? Yeah, this is the only time where I did little interjections in post covering things that I forgot to talk about when I was actually doing these tier lists. The reason for that is we did two classes in one day. We did the spy and we did the medic during the same stream. That's because both of those classes have very few items to go through and I figured, eh, may as well knock out two birds with one stone and shorten down this nine week series into eight weeks. Because doing a weekly video or more has taught me that I would never want to do this for a living if that meant I had to make a video a week to keep food on my plate. Anyways, enough of that. Last week I thanked people who made my videos look good. This week I want to thank you guys. You guys are awesome. I honestly can't thank you enough for all of your support. 
by just liking the video, just by watching the video, the comments you leave, good and bad. I mean, all of them I read, and it's it's just, it's, I try not to read them. Reading re reading YouTube comments is a quick way to make yourself feel like ass, but I do it anyway because I, I, I can't help myself. And thank you for all the people who support me in just various other ways by just hanging out with my streams and for giving me money and giving me free shit for just talking about a 14-year-old video game. It's, uh... A little crazy, a little crazy to think that people are so willing to open their wallets for something so simple and readily digestible. But then again, I guess people are very desperate for TF2 content in this active sphere, given that we have been in a major content drought for a very long time. And I've also got to keep reminding myself that a vast majority of my audience is children, because, you know, kids love free games, and when they want to learn more about said free game, they go look for content on YouTube. But for the people who are old enough to understand what thank you means... Thank you. I really do appreciate it. All of your support is immensely helpful. And despite this being incredibly impersonable, I really do mean it from the bottom of my heart. I honestly can't thank you enough. So let's keep going. This is a, a Blue Moon Belgian White for those interested. It's probably my favorite beer. It's nothing special, but I just like the way it tastes. Let's keep moving on here. More to go. Nice. So let's do... Uh, let's do... I guess the syringe gun? I mean... You can't go wrong, really. I mean, you, like, Medic's stock items are just good. They're not terrible. They're not amazing, but they're just... I mean, I mean, obviously, the Medi gun's really good. But, I mean, the syringe gun is just... It's what the Medic is supposed to have for an offense item, right? It's supposed to be a weak source of damage that he only uses to defend himself in, like, a last-ditch effort to keep himself alive. And, you know, the damage on this thing is a bit of a pittance, but it gets the job done if you're cut out in a 1v1 and the guy doesn't have full health. It lets you survive long enough to have someone come help you, which the Blutsager does a little bit better sometimes. I mean, it's not bad. It, it does some damage. I mean, it, it's, 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 it's just the weak defensive option for the Medic to use if he's caught out alone. I like running around with this thing and just fucking spamming it at people. You can do that. I also forgot to mention on the overdose, the 10% damage penalty is hardly noticeable between stock and it. Or the 15, sorry, the 15% damage penalty is is barely noticeable between these two. It's it's so minuscule. I like the normal syringe gun. It's fun to use. It it just it's just baseline baseline good. Uh, Blutsager. Okay, so I'm really mixed on the Blutsager because the downside of having lower health regen at base, but only three health back on hit, the fact it lets you survive fights a little bit longer if you're being chased down is pretty good, but it's still not, like, as amazing as people make it out to be. I would still much rather use the overdose to get out and survive and instead of like trying to stay in and fight and get a pittance back of health on hit, do a pittance of damage on the guy and have lower health regen in general. I don't know, man. I do definitely consider the Blutsager better than the stock syringe gun, mainly because you can live in those 1v1 scenarios a little bit longer. But whenever you're not actively fighting someone, that lower health regen of one health per tick fucking sucks, man. It does go up when you're actively healing somebody who's hurt. So that offsets it a little bit. And you can offset a little, a little bit by using the amputator. I'll put it in B tier, but it's like bottom, bottom of B tier for sure. I have fun with it. I, I mean, I just fucking whipping it out when you got someone who's attacking you. It's really satisfying to get a kill with any syringe gun, don't get me wrong. But I just find the faster movement speed on Medic invaluable in comparison to health back on hit. Because this encourages you to get into a fight that you're probably going to lose unless the person you're fighting is a moron and walks in a straight line at you and can't land enough shots to kill you faster. Because the counter to this is just shooting the Medic. This weapon punishes players playing stupid. It punishes players for thinking they can get an easy kill on a medic, so they're just walking at him with a melee, or they're doing something stupid and like just using a gimmick or a weaker second, they're like, I'm just gonna pistol this medic down. Then they'll get punished for doing that. But if you're fighting any reasonably competent player who's just playing the game normally and not being stupid, this isn't gonna save you that often. This will save you against more competent players more often than this thing. That's why the Overdose is better than the Blutsager. But it's not bad, though. Uh, okay, let's do another Medigun. Let's, I mean, what is there really to say about the stock Medigun? Aside from, I think it's the best option unless you want to be a piece of shit. But even then, when you're being a piece of shit with this thing, this is just so much better. Because 
yeah, stock is, as the kids say, iconic. It's just all around good, right? It's super effective. Nothing uber charged changes the course of a fight. You don't need to be that coordinated with someone to make the most use out of it, right? It's definitely the most selfish of the Medi guns next to the Kritzkrieg, because if you're flashing multiple people with this thing, it tanks away that invulnerability a lot faster. So, but even with someone who's uncoordinated, you can still be effective with this Uber. It's just good. It's insanely good. Unlike the fucking Kritz, the Schitzkrieg. I call it the Schitzkrieg. The Kritzkrieg is only good if you're in the same voice call as the person you're pumping crits into. Because suddenly critting somebody and they're un they're unprepared, like, oh fuck, I have to start shooting now. And then they, they fuck up and miss all their shots and then they fucking die. So I, I consider the, the Crits Krieg probably the worst of the Medi guns, even though the damage output can be insane if you're coordinated with somebody. But if you're not, it's just ass. So in the casual setting, if you're not playing with someone you know in a voice call, it's just not that good. Crits is high risk, high reward because you can still fucking die, right? You can still get backstabbed. You're still fucking naked and afraid out in the fight. You're not, you're not, you're not getting health pumped into you like you are with the quick fix. You don't have any amount of, you have normal overheal and normal healing. The only time when this thing becomes kind of annoying is when there's another medic that ubers the guy being critched with any of the other mediguns. Then that's fucking ass to deal with. But um, yeah, I, it's just, it's the weakest while this is probably just the best and strongest medigun except when this thing is being dog shit and bad to play, play against. I hate it. Quick fix. The quick fix is next. I put it up your name. The quick fix is the second best medigun because faster uber cycling, getting health pumped into you at 300 times the normal rate, being able to flash heal multiple people with that fast uber, man. And, and just the, the, the base faster healing rate on this thing is super fucking good also. And the fact you have overheal with it, only 50% of normal, but still have a little bit of a health buffer to give people, man, this thing is really fucking good. Admittedly, it does make playing Medic a little bit more boring because you don't really have to strategize as heavily as you do with like your normal stock Medi gun. And yeah, you can ride explosive jumps with this thing and, and mirror the speed of your opponent, this and, and all that jazz, but you already mirror the speed of your opponent when you're using this thing anyway, like on a scout. If you wanna keep your teammates health topped off more often, use this thing. If you wanna make the person you're healing a lot more tanky, use this thing. This is better if you're healing multiple people. This is better if you're trying to usually pocket the same one or two people because you can keep their health buffer up, lower health buffer, buffer, but a faster uber charge rate. Uh, yeah, we're, we're fucking blazing through this too. Okay, so let's do the crossbow. Crossbow is also, crossbow is probably the best item for medic, I would say. Crossbow is stupid broken, I think but it's not like hideously broken. Being able to fully heal someone from across the map with a projectile that uses the same hitboxes as every other projectile is, whoo! Wow, that's strong. The burst healing on this thing is insanely good and the damage it deals is also insanely good because you can just spam this thing and you're hitting friend or foe and you're doing something. I would say nerf the damage on this thing so it's comparable to the other two primaries the medic has. The medic's main sources of damage are burst damage at point blank range to save his own ass and then low and slow steady streams of damage. You should not be able to fire this thing into a crowd of people which pretty much just guarantees a hit and then deal 75 damage to somebody. That's fucking stupid. Make this thing do like at most 50 or like 60 and then have its damage. And, and the, the, the inverse damage scaling with distance is fucking stupid because you're rewarded for spamming this thing. It, it heals 75 to 150 health, but it deals like 38 to 75. The 75 damage is the cap at maximum at maximum ramp up, which is also maximum distance. The inverse damage thing, it's the only weapon in the game that does this. Why? Because the amount of times I've seen a medic be able to save his own ass by just vomiting out crossbows at somebody is, ugh. Oh, but Jesse, they're harder to hit. Okay, yeah, harder to hit at close range. Don't nerf the minimum damage, nerf the max to like 50 or 60, and that's it. This thing should also not do random crits. If they, if they just made that simple change, no random crits on this thing, I could live with it. Because you're suddenly getting one shot by a fucking projectile that someone vomited across the map without having to charge up like a fucking Huntsman arrow, right? Man, yeah, with a very, very shallow arc to boot, no less. Yeah, I think uh, nerf the damage on this thing's probably the right direction to take. The last item, ladies and gentlemen, is the amputator.
The amputator is awesome and not enough people use it. The amputator does several things. One, it lets you regen more health while it's active. Two, it lets you heal multiple people at the same base healing rate as the medigun. 24 health per second while you're taunting with this thing. And three, and I don't think a lot of people know this, the range of effect is the same as the medigun. So it's AOE is absolutely massive. And I don't think a lot of people realize that. It's insanely good on defense. Where like if your team suddenly all took a boatload of damage, you fucking whip it out and you're just pumping health into people like you normally would, but it's multiple people. You're still building Uber, but you can't move. And the fact you can't move with it while you're doing that, I think it's good that it does that because you're pumping health into multiple people that could defend you while you're doing that. You have to time it correctly. It makes you vulnerable to spy because you can't predict when the spy is going to come out. You Tom for it. Oh, spy's invisible. Here he comes and kills you. So yeah, I can see the argument for making, for making you too vulnerable in that scenario. But if you're with your team and healing them, they should be able to catch any other person that would try to come and kill you. It's only a problem when having to deal with a, or a cloaked or disguised spy. But I think the amputator is largely fine as it is. It's, a, it's another risk versus reward item for the medic. You're rewarded with better healing while it's out. You're rewarded by healing multiple people. You're rewarded with some uber, but you can't move while you're doing the taunt. And the taunt's, of, the taunt's duration is relatively short as well. I think it's in a good spot. But giving it that slight buff of being able to cancel the taunt whenever you want, that would bump it easily like up here. Like if you could if you could cancel the taunt whenever you want, it would be it would be like it would be in this territory. But right now it's high B tier and hideously underrated. I think that sums up the medic tier list. That's a fucking wrap on the medic.